behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The Morning Insiders answer the call about a viewer's internet account. This one's a big doozy though. Not about billing or spotty service or missed appointment. Lauren Victory takes us inside a deep question. What's in a name? Yes, Osmond Malcolm is not amused by recent voicemails left by friends. Can you imagine how many of these calls and messages I get on a daily basis now? A crass name discovered when this Wi-Fi router stopped working. Malcolm pulled up his Comcast Xfinity account. And I see my username, man.mal. Osmond Malcolm said he didn't select that, a login so raunchy we have to censor it. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. That was very disrespectful. Can you imagine if I'm somewhere and I actually tried to log into that username to Comcast to use a hotspot and that name would pop up on my screen? How much butter do we got over there? Malcolm is a chef, often working in guests' kitchens. He says he relies on internet service to upload demos to Facebook. You're standing over my shoulder and you see it. Man dot mal what does that say about me as a chef or as a person? That just makes me look like uh, a pervert. Malcolm says Comcast first offered two free days of service, then $600. He didn't accept. Then she calls me and says, well, the last time this happened, we paid a person $1,000. I said, wait, what? The last time? So how many other people have this happened to? Two Comcast customer bills went viral back in 2015, including this one, when names got changed to derogatory words. At this point, is there anything Comcast can do to make this right? Besides closing their doors? No. Trying to pay me to be quiet is not solving a problem. It's a borderline sexual harassment. Any comments about my body parts or whatever should have never ended up as a username. He canceled his account and put his business on hold. No more Facebook videos until he finds a new internet provider. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Comcast tells us it apologized to Mr. Osman and is extremely embarrassed by the incident, adding there's no excuse for this behavior. The name change actually happened at a third party retail store that used to sell Comcast services, but that store has been banned from doing business with Comcast. Comcast has filters in place to prevent bad words from appearing on accounts, but the system is not perfect.